The ecosystems of North and South America are extremely diverse, and they're home to many animals that can't be found naturally anywhere else in the world. Some of these animals play very important roles in their ecosystems, and some of them are just hanging on. Even though the majority of these animals are perfectly suited to life in the Americas, some of them pop up in other parts of the world. Of course, there are many American creatures that are invasive in other parts of the world, but that's not the focus of this video. Instead, I will be focusing on individual or small groups of American animals that have popped up in the UK, and this strange occurrence is more common than you might think. Some North and South American animals find their way to the UK through the pet trade, and some of them escape from zoos. Some American animals can be blown off course during their migrations, and when this happens, it usually creates a bit of a stir. Without further ado, we can take a look at our first story, and this story is very fresh. Last week in a lake in Cumbria in northern England, a strange reptile was discovered. It was first spotted by a dog walker in the shallows of a lake, and it was later fished out of the water in a shopping basket. Once it was on land, it was easy to see that this creature was a turtle, and a freshwater turtle is a very rare sight in the UK. There are no naturally occurring turtle species in the UK, but there are a few small populations of invasive turtles from the Americas and Europe. Strangely, the reptile pulled from a Cumbrian lake wasn't a terrapin or a slider, as it was, in fact, an alligator snapping turtle. The alligator snapping turtle is the largest freshwater species of turtle in North America, and there are two other closely related species. These turtles are powerful ambush predators, and they're known for their incredibly strong bite. Because this turtle is potentially dangerous, the British tabloids had a field day, and a massive fuss was made of this discovery. The turtle nicknamed Fluffy was taken to a vet, and it is now being sent to a reptile center. Of course, it's impossible for this turtle to swim all the way to the UK, and it most likely entered the UK through the pet trade. It's possible that someone bought this turtle not knowing how large they can get, and then when it outgrew its enclosure, they released it into the wild. Thankfully, this alligator snapping turtle was still relatively small, and I hope it has a very long and luxurious life in captivity. For our next story, we will be heading over to Wales, and we will be heading back in time to February 2020. Caroline Brown was walking her dog along the canal in Risca, South Wales, when she came across a strange carcass at the side of the path. This carcass seemed to be reptile and fish-like, and this strange creature was at least three feet long. After pictures were taken of the animal, it was quickly identified, and the mystery creature was in fact an alligator gar. As I'm sure many of you know, these creatures are native to North America, and they are one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. These creatures can be traced back to the early Cretaceous, and they can grow up to 3 meters in length. These predatory fish are very rarely dangerous to humans, and they primarily feed on fish. It's quite obvious how this fish made it to the UK, as the UK's laws on fish keeping are very lax. In the UK, you can keep many fish that are illegal in other parts of the world, and because it's a very niche topic, it's not policed very heavily. One of the main reasons why you are able to keep many exotic fish in the UK is simply because the weather is very mild. The vast majority of exotic fish are unable to survive in British waters, but some American fish would be able to. That's why you are unable to keep most American fish in the UK, but sometimes species such as the alligator gar slip through the cracks. It seems as though someone managed to get their hands on an alligator gar, and then was unable to care for it when it got too big. The waters in Risca must have been too cold for this fish, and unfortunately it led to its demise. Instances such as this aren't as rare as you might think, and if you do plan on buying a monster fish, make sure that you have the space for it. For our next story, we will be heading over to London, and we will be heading back in time to March 2023. One ordinary night in a small London suburb, a strange visitor appeared at a bus stop. This creature was small, striped and fearless, and it quickly scurried away out of sight. As I'm sure many of you can tell, this creature was a skunk, and it seemed very out of place in the streets of London. It's believed that this individual was an escaped pet, and strangely, it's not illegal to keep them in the UK. Skunks could easily become an invasive species in the UK, and there are very few predators that would hunt them. 
if someone decided to release a bunch of skunks into the British wilderness, there's a very high chance that they could become established. The climate in the UK isn't too different to some parts of northern North America, and this is where some skunk species are found. This means that they could adapt to the British ecosystem, and they would have arguably less competition. Hopefully there will be stricter laws in place in the future, because if skunks became established in the UK, it would be bad news for the native wildlife. For our next story, we will be heading over to Pembrokeshire, and we will be heading back in time to September 2023. This was when bird watchers across the UK lost their minds, as many American birds found their way to the UK. Hurricane Lee had blown many birds off course, and they flew over the Atlantic to the UK. More than 12 American species were spotted in Pembrokeshire, with many bird watchers gathering on Ramsey Island. Many small songbirds were spotted, including the Canada warbler that hadn't been spotted in the UK before. Some species such as the bay-breasted warbler had only been seen in the UK once before, and these birds really were a rare sight. These birds are now part of a long list of American birds that have made their way to the UK, and I'm sure there'll be many more in the future. For our final story, we will be heading over to Buckinghamshire, and we will be heading back in time to 2015. This was when a strange creature was spotted in a garden in Marlow, and at first, the owner of the garden thought it was a pet. After getting a closer look, she realised that it was a creature that was a lot more exotic, and she managed to capture the animal on video. She then went to the RSPCA for help, and they said that they believed the animal was a pet bear. It's quite worrying that the RSPCA came to this conclusion, as the animal was in fact a kuwati. These animals are native to Central and South America, and they are members of the raccoon family. These animals are very out of place in the UK, but strangely, this isn't the first time that a kawati has been spotted here. In 2004, a few individuals were spotted in Cumbria, and there's been a few other sightings dotted around England. The kawati in this story was eventually captured by its owners, but the kawatis in Cumbria are still roaming free. It really is surprising that they can survive in such a cooler climate, but it's very unlikely that they will become established. In the wild, they mostly feed on fruits, invertebrates, small animals and birds' eggs. And just like their close relatives, the raccoons, they are very adaptable. Even though these animals have shown that it is possible that they can survive in the UK, it must be very hard. And maybe there will be more sightings to come. If there's any other stories that you think should have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, goodbye.